All right, everybody, welcome to the Zabe cast. Zabe, Scotty, Al, Ludef. Have you seen the new UFL, the United Football League? Have not. Galdi is looking at me with a, yeah, oh, Galdi what? Season no, I, they, they are making an impact. Four-team league. Yeah. One-month season. Yes. Middle of the NFL season. Run-of-the-mill coaches. <laughs> and that's what I want to get to, these coaches. Yeah. Here's the four guys who have jumped in already. Denny Green, Jim Fossil, Ted Cottrell, and Jim Hazlitt. Now, what do all these guys have in common? Well, three of the four are... Former NFL coaches. Yeah. Uh, head coaches. Right. But all four used to work in the NFL. And, and are pretty well-known names if you follow the right. NFL. The common thread is... They were all at one time hot properties. Mm-hmm. Very. Fossil went to the Super Bowl. Chips all in, baby. <laughs> yeah. He right had the famous chips are all in and turned the giant season around. Uh, Denny Green has had many a job. He's been to the playoffs with Minnesota. He had the great rant with, of course, Arizona. No, we, you know, I mean, they we, are we, we just, uh, let's, who we wait, thought the Bears they were. We Talking about were. the Bears. What, what, what we thought they were. We played them in preseason. Who the hell takes a third game in a preseason like it's bullshit? Bullshit. We played them in the third game. Everybody played three quarters. The Bears are who we thought they were. And that's why we took the damn field. Now, if you want to crown them, then crown their ass. But they are who we thought they were. And we let them off the hook. You've got Jim Hazlitt who had... A couple of really good years with the Saints yeah, and was like really hot. Good half seasons and then collapses, but still. Yeah. And then Ted Cottrell, who was always mentioned as, mm -hmm. this coordinator could get a job. He, he's Yeah, he's very much on the head coaching radar. So why would these guys take this weird, destined-to-fail league? Uh, because their job, Steve? Got to be a lot of money. I don't think it's a lot of money. A lot of think money? It's a million bucks each? There's hard caps. There's, you know, I don't what, know there's, what they're making. There's a pre-existing TV deal or you know, a built-in. It's going to be Plus, on Versus. you, you got to look at Fossil, who, who has been trying to get a job for a while now and is not getting anything. Dude said he would go work for Al Davis. Yeah, he, he may not get one again. Cottrell, I, I think his time may have passed in terms okay. of getting a head coaching job. Okay. Hazlitt, maybe there's an opportunity, but he had it with St. Louis and it worked in the beginning but then not in the end. Jeez, I forget the St. Louis experiment. Yeah. So, <laughs> you know, these guys, and Green Green is interesting because He did I, have a I, modest winning streak and then it all went to crap. Right. right. And all these like guys. Like two. Well, and Green and Has or Green and uh, uh, Fossil. Fossil were in broadcasting. Absolutely. Right. Both Westwood were in the booth won. for Westwood One. Sure. I wonder so who else like was, totally uh, unemployed. was offered a job and probably turned it down. They probably <laughs> went to everyone. Joe Gibbs, maybe? Oh, maybe. God. No. <laughs> Maybe uh, Pepper Rogers, <laughs> who famously <laughs> said, football is a game of fight. Former USFL coach himself from but years ago. Do you think this ruins their credibility as coaches? I don't think so, but then again. They did that on their own, I think. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Are they going to use it as a resume item <sighs> going let, let, forward? Let's say, let's say Fossil goes undefeated. Do you think better of him as a coach? <laughs> you mean 3-0? Oh? Mean, mean <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, three or four and zero shows up in the title game on Thanksgiving weekend. <laughs> you know, I was three and zero in the UFL. Yeah, w wins at Hartford. Suck I mean, on that. It owners. is only a month long. Why not? They got nothing else to do. <laughs> it's just so random and so destined to fail. Maybe that's why they took the job. They figured, look, we know it's going to fail, but it's real money. Yeah, not a lot of real work. There's no accountability. No one's going to rip me if my team is bad in the UFF, UFL. Mm -hmm. Take it. Take the money. Yeah. I don't know. Just a thought. It's something to do, as you mentioned. I'll watch. Times are tight. Ten minutes, and there's a GPS chip in the ball. That's kind of cool. <clears throat> That'll. Yeah, that's. We've always been clamoring for that, right? Because we lose it all the time. Where is it? Oh, there it <laughs> yeah. is. Why don't you put a GPS in Thurman Thomas's <laughs> helmet too? Oh, all right. Where'd that thing go? All right. Thanks for listening, everybody. Uh, enjoy the UFL coming to a city near you. It's on Versus. We'll be watching. If you live in one of the four places it's going to be Orlando, near you. Vegas. Chances uh, are it won't be near you at all. Thanks for listening. See you.